very proud of yourself. I remember when I graduated, it's a day you'll always remember for years to come, so take in this moment. Congrats for all your hard work and dedication. Now I'd like to introduce Ms. Tamika Heisman Klein. She's a wife, mother, attorney, elected official, entrepreneur, speaker, author, and certified personal executive coach. First elected in 2002, at the age of 29, Ms. Devine is currently in her fifth term on the council and currently in her second year serving as mayor of her town. Ms. Devine is a partner in the law firm of Jabber and Isaac, practicing in the area of real estate, probate, and personal injury. She's also the founder of the Possibilities Institute, a peak performance, public speaking, coaching, and consulting firm specialized in working with women leaders and working moms. Mrs. Devine's leadership has been recognized nationally. She was recognized in Government Magazine as a woman in government and serves as co-chair of the National League of Cities Youth Education and Families Council as a board member of women in municipal government. Ms. Devine is an advocate for women in leadership and just released her second book entitled Think Like a CEO, Act Like a Mom, The Pursuit of Life Work, Integration where she shares, shares the perfect blend of sage advice and personal anecdotes to explain working moms truly can have it all. She's married to James L. Devine, Chairman of Richmond County Schools, District 1 Board of School Commissioners, and they have three, and they are the parent of three proud children, Tamika, Tamia, Jay, and Jameson. They also have a son, James Henry, who was born into heaven in August 2014. Please welcome.
Think about the way you're feeling here tonight and remember that feeling, that sense of accomplishment. Remembering those late nights or early mornings, remembering those assignments that you had to complete, and think about the fact that you've done all of that and you're sitting here today. That feeling is the feeling that is going to push you as you move forward through your careers, <coughs> whether it's starting your own business, whether it's working for someone else, whether it is building multiple businesses. That feeling will drive you when things get tough, when things get disappointing, when people are hating on you and saying, oh, they can't do it. That is the feeling that's going to drive you. So I want you to remember the feeling that you have today. Look back on what you've done, but only for a minute, because now it is time for you to look forward. It is time for you to focus on the future, your future, your family's future, and what you can do and accomplish when you set really big goals. Point two, no great man or woman accepted failure or inequities of this world, and neither should you. President Clark mentioned about failures, and we know that's all part of life. But I am somebody who I believe that failures are things that, if they're not really anything that you need to think is not a good thing, failures teach you, they make you stronger, they motivate you, and they keep you going. I remember ever since I was a young girl, I wanted to be an attorney. I worked really hard in high school, went to college, worked really hard in college, went to law school, graduated law school, and the very first time I took the South Carolina Bar exam, I failed it. I was devastated. I was heartbroken. I thought the lifetime of dreaming of being a lawyer was being denied to me. But as a lot of people say, a dream denied is not, a, a, a dream denied, sometimes it's not denied, it's just delayed. And I knew that the six months between when I took and failed the first bar, and then I took and passed the second one, I learned very valuable lessons about tenacity, about working hard, about believing in myself, and about the fact that things don't always go the way we want it to. But it doesn't mean it's not meant for us. It just means it might be a different path for us to get there. The third point is be grateful for every opportunity and every setback. Because every setback, every opportunity teaches something new. It teaches you something about yourself, about what you can do, sometimes what you like and what you don't like. It also may open your eyes to new possibilities and new opportunities that you never thought was imaginable. When it was mentioned by bio, I mentioned that I had a son that was born in heaven. I was 42 years old. Thought, some people thought I probably was too old to be having babies, but I knew that the Lord had blessed me to have, um, to be carrying my first son. Little did I know that he would not survive. He was still born at my 37th week, week of pregnancy. That incident could have destroyed me. It could have made me question my ability to have another child, it could have made me question my ability to move forward in other things. But what that thing did is it opened my eyes to opportunities and possibilities. That motherhood is so much more than having and raising children, but it's being a guidance for people who will rule our future. And so when I lost my son, that I say is born into heaven, and I think and celebrate him every single day, I also know that I, that opportunity made me grow and stretched me into opportunities that I never knew were possible for me. So remember, laugh through the confusion, smile through the tears, and remember that everything happens for a reason. And that reason may be your next opportunity. Fourth, remember to always create the highest, grandest vision for your life. Forget all the reasons why you or other people tell you you can't do something and think about and remember that one reason why you can't. I mean, why you can't, excuse me. People always say, I can't do this because I'm a little bit too old or I'm a little bit too young or I can't do this because I have young children at home or because maybe I am in my third or fourth career. But that one reason that one reason you started here at Southeastern could be that driving force, 
could be the why, could be the reason that you can push forward. So when someone tells you that something can't be done, remember, that's their limitation, not yours. And last but not least, never stop remembering your why. Why did you come to Southeastern? Why do you want the career that you want? Why have you pushed forward to get here today? Because that why will keep pushing you from days ahead. It will keep pushing you to move forward, to set more goals, to get more degrees, to start a business, to move forward up the corporate ladder. Whatever it is that you want to do, that why is going to be your motivating factor, and it is going to drive you. So in conclusion, I just want to say again, congratulations. Remember this accomplishment as something that is so special. It doesn't all belong to you. It belongs to your family and friends, but it also belongs to your community. Because you guys, the information, the education, and the experience that you've gotten here at Southeastern will motivate you to do amazing things for this community. No matter what your degree is going to be in or is in, it will give you the opportunities to change lives. And that is nothing to, to balk at. That is exactly why you're here. That is why we're so proud of you. That's why we're excited to celebrate you tonight. And I want to congratulate you. Thank you so much for pushing forward to this point. And I hope that you continue to push forward and do amazing, amazing things. Congratulations.